What do you think? What do you what do you expect here? Hmm. I'd like to say there's a forty percent chance that Ordo Equidem will cheese, but mm, we'll see. I it's possible, right? It's certainly or maybe possible. like or maybe this is just a map that Ordo Equidem is very comfortable on. Yeah. Okay. They they got to choose the map, right? Uh, I think they did, but you know what'll tell us for sure? Who's getting first pick? No. No, they didn't choose this map. No, because TNG has map choice because they're a higher seed. So TNG will choose the maps the whole way. Oh, they always get first, will pick. get first pick, first ban. Hmm. I mean, this is the cheese map, I guess. Well, this is the cheese map, which is kind of why I'm. Uh, I don't know why uh, TNG would choose it, but you know, we'll see. I do like I do like Bobop's comment in Twitch chat. Sonya one v four. Nah, guys, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> and a quick task ban, so they don't want to see Tassadar on the side of TNG again. Which is okay. I get it. <laughs> Evil Bob saying he'll eat a slipper if TNG loses this game. So. Oh, don't say that now. This is the cheese map. <laughs> Evil Bob, Evil Penguin Bob. If they lose this game on camera, you're eating a slipper. You know I'm holding you to that. Uh, let's see here. All right. And an Artanis ban. Okay. No more swaps. Oh, that's a quick Dahaka pick. So you ban one and you take the other and you say you don't get the team you just had. Sorry. And I think no, nope. They did not. I thought Ordo Equitum might have had to hock on the last Towers of Doom, but that was five guys that had that. Hmm. TNG thinking really hard about this. You know, I, I don't know that they are thinking really hard so much as TNG likes to take its time with its drafts. Oh, and Sonya's back. Oh, man. The Sonya pick. Sonya Lee Ming, no less. I mean, yeah. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know that I would let, uh, let them have Sonya, if I'm being honest. I think that might have been a better ban than the Tassadar ban. I think Sonya was actually more impactful. I think they, they were all impactful, right? Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that any one of them carried the game, but I really feel like Sonya was more impactful last game. Yeah, Sonyo definitely was very impactful last game. Now, uh, Ordo Equitum is going to have to think real hard about how many melee they pick into I'm here to help. I stand ready. Jane of Bala. You know what I'd be looking for? Ban an ETC. Like, just like ban ETC. Unless you want to deal with that, because you're looking to hack a Jaina. Vala into a mosh pit. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> I wasn't showing the draft. I apologize, man. I've been doing so good. We've cast so many games, and I have not had that problem, but I screwed that one up. Liquid pollutes. <laughs> Liquids, production control sucked there. I apologize. Rhaegar ban. That's a good... That's... Uh, yeah, okay. I would have liked to have seen them take Rhaegar instead of banning Rhaegar, but okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh. I mean, sure, that's a ban that you can do. False dead ban. I mean, false dead is pretty good on the map. Uh, yeah, but. Well, I mean, I guess with. Should... Go mm. ahead. I was going to say, maybe they should look to ban a tank, but since they haven't picked a tank and the other team hasn't picked a tank, or like uh, another tank, right? They're looking for just to keep those tanks free so that if the other team selects one, then they can select the other. Right, right. I mean, I, that's all I can come up with. You know, I, I yeah. I mean, Tychus is open, uh, you know, Diablo's open, ETC is open, but they decided to go for the Murden. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. Maybe Haymaker, though. Mm, Haymaker. <laughs> I mean, they do. They um, TNG does some stuff that's like, you, you look at it and you're like, huh, that was odd. But it works out really, really well for them. Um, I like the Malfurion pick. I like the Murden pick. Murden's a strong tank. Um, I, you know, nothing against Murden. I just didn't expect it with ETC and Diablo still up. Um, but Murden pairs well with Sonya. And that they both like to hit people over the head. It's a different kind of stun, I guess, right? So... ETC could have worked there as well, but maybe they didn't want to deal with Diablo moving characters around so much. Mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, I'm not sure. What is it? Oh, Zara to a Brightwing. Okay. One tank. Okay. Solo tank to Haka incoming. Alright, now here's, here's what you want to think about very carefully. You have two squishies right now, and they have a Zeratul who can VP, right? Yep. So you want to think about... Yeah, that, that is, a pr <laughs> that is uh, interesting. It was that or it was going to be um, Medivh, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, with the Zarya, if Zeratul goes on one of your squishies, you kill them, and then you have triple tank, and you know that they didn't pick a Tychus, so your tanks are all the stronger for it, right? Right. Yes. Agreed. That's okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So for the red team, Ordo Equidum, we have Magic Pants on the Vala, New Jag on the Brightwing, Chidi on the Zeratul, Arkandil on the Haka, and Icarus on the Jaina. And for TNG, we have Dayuni on Malfurion, Stu Manchu on Murden, Cover on Sonya, Asusake on Zarya, and Ataro Ming. This could be it. If, uh, if Ordo Equidum can't get a win here, TNG will have won four weeks in a row for Helix Gamers League. Um, I'm actually excited to see how the fights turn out. <laughs> I uh, share your excitement, actually. I think this is going to be probably one of the better um, games. What I like about Towers of Doom and the reason I like playing this game, or playing this specific map, is you can't just... So, the last game, we kind of saw um, TNG run away with it, right? Yeah. And that happens because they can go core at any time. But five, four, you three, can't do that here. Three, like you can get an advantage one. and you can run away and get an advantage. Well, what are you um, for? But it's not quite the same, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can't core. You know, you have the shots have to core for you. And you know, I everybody should have expected to see the uh, the drone come out. With a with a Zeratul running around. Oh, got a little scuffle going on already. Nobody's really getting too low. Sonya's getting a little bit, and Zeratul oh, just took orb. a big chunk. But 
you know, if you look at that, TNG cleared the entire middle lane already. And they're pushing down bottom lane to go ahead and clear that. Top lane, though, Mouth is actually, or I'm sorry, Murden's following Sony up. They might look to get a kill here on the Dahaka. But not knowing Zeratul was there and Brightwing ports up, this could go the other way. And that might be a dead Sonya. Nope, they, they do both escape. Um, so that, that was... That was actually well played on both teams. Murden going up was a good ambush opportunity, and Zeratul following him while stealthed uh, kept it from going um, really badly. Oh, the root. <laughs> well, I was almost killed right there. So three altars spawn as normal. Uh, Zeratul coming down from above, though, might actually get a kill here. Nope, hopping out. But did go in to get some quick damage. It looks yeah, like... It must, really, it must really be annoying for Zeratul for uh, trying to snipe the Li Ming. You're like, oh, she's Li Ming that uh, I can kill, but she took Force Armor level 1. Yeah, which was actually a, a really good choice. And both teams are 3 right now, so we're going to have two people bottom uh, fighting over the altar. Zeratul getting really low. Um, we did see TNG try to delay the top on Ordo Equitum, but did not, so they traded one for one. And we still have a couple people fighting over the bottom shrine. Zeratul might actually die here. He got really, really low. And, yep, that's going to be that. And Sonya looking to maybe finish off another one, but getting dragged by Dahak instead. Val is really low. She needed to get out of there, but died instead. And... Ataro on that Li Ming is just getting a ton of value out of his orbs and missiles. And got a number of people really low on the side of Ordo Equitum. So, four shot lead right now. Um, and it looks like we're just going to go back to lane soaking, as is normally the case at this point in the game. Oh, that could have been bad for the, Zeratul. The cheeky, the cheeky Sonya brush camp. <laughs> right? She's like, I'll wait here. You want to walk into me? I can kill you. That's fine. But Murden might be in a bad place here. I mean, I know he's Murden, but Jaina and Zeratul, he could die from that. But does successfully get out. Meanwhile, bottom lane's getting pushed in really nicely by TNG. Um, the front wall is down, one of the towers is down, and it looks like the second tower is getting pretty low. Zeratul coming in, though, looking to get a Lee Ming kill, but that's not going to happen. Uh, with Jaina's Shields. help, we got a... Oh, that's a deleted Jaina. I was about to say we got a nice little fight brewing down here, but instead Stu Manchu on that Murden decided to go ahead and get a kill. Whoa! Brightwing was almost deleted there between uh, the orb from Zarya and the orb from Lee Ming. That was... That was a close to dead bright way. Now we're going to have a single altar middle, and it is 7v6 right now. I don't know that uh, Ordo Equinum is not going to get their 7s first. But Zeratul going in and maybe looking for a kill, I think he just wasted his combo there. Zarya took a little bit of damage, and Li Ming took almost no damage. And there's the altar spawn. Yeah, both teams are seven now. The altars have risen. Zarya is zoning. Li Ming's getting it, but she might get interrupted here. Everybody moving in on her around behind the TNG team. Sony getting pretty low here, but Dahaka almost dead. As soon as he comes out, yep, he's going to be deleted. Muradin is chasing Vala. Vala got pretty low. And Brightwing's going to die, and I think Sonya might try to chase that Jane or might turn around because of the Blizzard falling. Murden channeling, and the rest of the team picking up the Sapper Camp on the side of Ordo Equitum for TNG. Looking to quickly turn that in and maybe get a tower out of this. Vala is down here trying to stop it, but I don't know that that's where she wants to be right now. 
That was actually really good by Vala, right there. She led the sapper camp into the small tower instead of the fort. Right. One of them. One of them did go into the fort, and Vala did lose her life for it. I don't think that was worth it. I think they're gonna lose this fort anyway. Yeah. So I, I don't know if it was worth her throwing her life away for it, but it was a good move. Um, you are absolutely correct on that. Now Dahaka is down here. I don't know if they saw him come in or not. Oh, they see him now. That's a dead Dahaka. <laughs> Mouth placing his uh, drone down uh, did enable them to see Dahaka while he was trying to be out of there, and he died. So, uh, TNG trying to escort in three sappers quickly, and it looks like they are going to get all three of those in. That's three more shots onto the core, putting them ahead by nine shots. Um, Zeratul did just find Li Ming out in the open, but not able to capitalize on it. Oh, and they're looking to kill that Zeratul, and they might get him. Tens are there. Oh, it was close. Oh, oh so close. So we do have uh, the normal tens. Sonia dig, or I mean, I'm sorry, Zarya Digo expulsion zone. Eleven versus nine. I don't know that you want to try and contest these. Um, these towers or these altars. I don't know that you can you you're you have up. Oh, well, they're gonna get ten Yeah, ten's coming up and they're right now. All right. Let's see what they let's see what they go All right, so we do have VP. We have ring of frost uh, Adaption or adaptation uh, bright wing has uh, emerald wind or emerald, emerald dream or emerald wind It's emerald wind. Okay, and uh, rain of vengeance Oh, that VP, the early VP into the ring. Oh, oh so much damage. And that's going to be a dead Sonya. So their combo does work as advertised. But at the same time, TNG says, that's cool. You can kill Sonya. We're going to wipe the rest of you. I mean, Vala might get away. Might. But they really want her, and oh, that's oh, going to be a dead valet. And they're going to immediately start boss. And I wonder if Sonya's going to go... Nope, Zarya's going to go ahead and go take the altar. That's going to be eight more shots, and that's going to be 13 to 36 with TNG solidly in the lead. Yeah, they used um, their entire combo and only got Sonya, which was a Right, um, I don't remember who the other person caught in the VP was, but they escaped. Oh, it was Li Ming. Yeah, was she it? blinked out at the last okay. second but before she, the like, frost. Li Ming had to be jamming that button so hard so that as soon as that <laughs> VP dropped, she got out. But Zarya in a little bit of trouble here. Three on one. I don't know that she's going to escape this. Oh, oh And the rest of the team shows up and says, not on our watch. And Brightwing had to use Emerald Wind there to save uh, save Dahaka. So that's cool. TNG will take the Sapper Camp that you tried to use against Sonya. And looks like they're going to try and escort this in to take the fort. Or they're going to instead take Ordo Equinum's uh, camp away from them. That works too. Uh, Zeratul has been spotted out. Are they going to be able to capitalize on that? Sony did just use her war paint, but it does not look like it. Although this, oh, this could work out better for them. If they can kill this fort before the sappers get here, that's more shots. Brightwing's running for his life. <laughs> All right, so we have four sappers currently looking to come in as shots. Oh, that was a beautiful twilight dream. And Brightwing, Brightwing is dead because of it. And that's gonna be, yep, some shots. So 9 into 36, two altars spawning. If TNG can pick up these two altars, that's game. Because they do get five shots on each uh, each altar capture. I mean, you have a lot of shots. I feel like it's okay to risk it, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. 9 into 36, yeah, you have to risk this. Like, why not? I'd like to see, you know, ideally I'd just want Zarya to expulsion zone right where she's standing. And just keep the other team from even coming in. I mean, she doesn't have it for another second. Cool. And up there it is. And that's could be a 
Nah, the hack has got too much life to die there. But they're pushing in really hard. The problem they have right now is the team split, right? Zero tools top, so they're they're needing to deal with both top and middle. But they do get the first of the two altars. That's five. Now Murden's gonna, going in to stop it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's gonna be able to. Murden's almost done. Yeah. And the hawk oh, is there. Oh, oh, they're going. They're gonna try, and I don't know that they're. Oh, there's the VP. Stand in it. Yep. All right. There we go. Oh man. Yeah, that's that really not, hard. They are, but that did not work out the way they wanted it to. That Zeratul blink, though. I think he's dodged like four attacks with that blink, and that's game. So, Evil Penguin Bob once again is saved from eating his slipper. Um, that is two games to zero for TNG over Ordo Equitum. But I will say Ordo Equitum actually had probably the best showing we've seen against TNG to date. Um, definitely come back next week. And, uh, yeah, those were some uh, some great games this week. Uh, what'd you think? Those were some pretty good games. Uh, that Li Ming really showing up and uh, landing all those orbs. <laughs> right.